Hello and welcome to our class tonight. My name is Carrie and I'm going to be your teacher for tonight. We are going to talk all about essential oils and I'm going to make it really easy. So I'm going to be on here for about the next 30 to 40 minutes. So if you just want to give you a time frame, I'm excited that you're joining in. We're going to be talking all about essential oils. The so three cool things about essential oils. We're going to go through some specific ones and show you how to use those. And I'm excited for our class tonight. I'd love it if you were to um, put where you're calling in from, calling in from where you're joining from, and um, just let me know um, if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer those. Um, if you're on Instagram, you're not going to be able to see my slideshow, but if you want to join via Zoom so that you can see my slideshow, you can go to a browser and type in bit.ly. I'm actually going to put it in the comments. bit. It's not typing correctly. bit.ly forward slash doTERRA weekly 101. Can't type. Bear with me for just a minute and we'll get started. All right, so again, you can type that into a browser and you can see what I'm seeing on the screen here. But I'll make this recording available as well if you would like that. So let me share my screen on here. <coughs> all right, so we, like I said, we are going to be talking all about essential oils tonight. And we are going to learn the three cool things about essential oils first. But before we get started, I want to share with you a little bit about me. <clears throat> so as I said, my name is Carrie. Um, I am a pharmacist. I'm an integrative health practitioner, and I have been using essential oils for about seven and a half years. And um, I've been sharing oils with others for about seven years. And so... I love both of those roles that I play, and um, <clears throat> at this point, I've probably taught over three or 400 classes, and I just love it. Uh, I, I love sharing um, these gifts of the earth with others, and so that's what we're going to do tonight, and we're going to make it really easy. So I want to share really quick, when I first got started with doTERRA, um, this is one of my biggest aha moments. Um, I had trouble falling asleep, and so I remember when I had, was asking the person that enrolled me, like, what's well, good for sleep, because I would sleep through the night, but I would have trouble falling asleep, and so she suggested lavender. I tried that for a few nights. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for, and then she's like, you've got to try vetiver. Vetiver is like the liquid um, uh, sedative. It's like a liquid sedative. It's like, yes, you, yeah, I, I want to try vetiver, and so I'll never forget the first time I put it on my feet. It was like... I felt my whole body relaxing. It kind of started at my feet and went up, and it was just like the best feeling, <laughs> literally. And I slept so well, went to sleep really fast, slept through the night, and what I realized was I wasn't really getting real deep sleep. I was just kind of in a light sleep state all night, but when I started using essential oils to really help my body relax, I got into a much deeper sleep, and so I woke up feeling very rested. So... <clears throat> That is one of my biggest aha moments, especially at the very first when I started. So let's dive into some of the content tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. So the goal of this class is to empower you. First, we're going to learn about the three cool things about essential oils. Next, we're going to learn three ways to use them, and then we're going to talk about how to get them into your home. So the three cool things about essential oils. First, they are completely 100% safe. They're natural and safe. No side effects and no addictions, which I really, this was something that I connect with as a pharmacist. I wanted to offer um, my patients and the people that came to me for help something that was safe and effective and yet did not have any side effects or addictive characteristics or properties because, as we know, uh, that's a huge problem. Um, essential oils are actually extracts from plants that have health benefits. And so the certified pure therapeutic grade is very important when you think about using essential oils on yourself and your family. It's really important to think about where you get these and where they're sourced from. And so <clears throat> the purity 
is very important and that's why we test so much at doTERRA because we want to make sure we have a pure product and potency that really makes a difference when you think about where you're going to source your product from that you make essential oils from your plant material so we go over the globe and get the best plant material to start with because that way you have the best end product. And so that's something that's really important And if you, if, whenever you think about introducing essential oils to yourself and your family and into your home, is you really wanna make sure that they're, they're pure and they're safe and you don't have to worry about that. Um, they're actually, essential oils are actually 50 to 70 times stronger than herbs. For instance, I don't have peppermint, you have to excuse me, I was actually running in from a um, ball game <laughs> tonight and so I don't have all my oils, right? right here with me, but peppermint, I have it in a roller bottle because I use it a lot during the day um, when I'm in my office just to focus and wake up. And so peppermint, um, just to give you a little comparison, one drop of peppermint is equal to about 25 cups of peppermint tea. And so one drop is very, very powerful. Like I said, it's about 50 to 70 times stronger than herbs. And so I can just put a tiny amount in my palm. I can breathe it in and it's just, it's just captivates you. It just, right away, it gets to work. <clears throat> so let's talk about the second cool thing about essential oils, which is that they are 100% effective as well. So they're actually more effective than modern approaches to health problems. So I want to kind of take you back to Biology 101, and let's talk about a cell. So um, you have um, the cell, which will be about this, and then you have a membrane all on, around the cell that is actually an oily cell membrane. And it's used to protect the cell and keep things, bad things out and keep what's supposed to be inside, inside. And so that is exactly why um, essential oils work a little bit differently with our cells in our body. So I want you to think, you know, when you go to the doctor and you have um, a bacteria, what do you normally take um, to get rid of that? You normally take an antibiotic. And it, it, you know, it usually gets rid of it in what, five to seven days, maybe 10 days, something like that. But a lot of times you have side effects with that. And it's just, we know what it can do to our gut bacteria and our stomach. It's just not good, right? And so I also want you to think what happens when you're infected with a virus? They tell you to go home and rest and maybe drink some water and just get a lot of sleep and just wear it off. There's really not much you can do. And that's honestly because the um, synthetic agents, they can't, they're water-based, they can't penetrate that oily cell membrane, so they're not gonna give you an antibiotic for a virus. But the really cool and unique thing about essential oils is that they are oil-based and they're, um, they're lipophilic, so they're really easily passed in the cell membrane that can get into that cell, and they work really well at helping your body get rid of viruses. And what I've noticed is that in my, you know, I've been using, like I said, for about seven and a half years, and if a lot of times I can ward off sicknesses if I use them, you know, enough whenever I feel something coming on, but occasionally, you know, something does come on. What I realized is if I use oils really consistently, and of course I rest and then hydrate and all those things, I'm sick about half the time, um, which is, and the symptoms are greatly decreased. Um, they're just not as severe. So that's kind of a little bit of my experience, but that's exactly how um, essential oils can work for virus and bacteria really helping our body fight those off and, and helping it to um, heal itself and kind of flush those things out. So let's talk about on guard really quickly. When we think about um, viruses and bacteria and things like that, on guard is the protective plan and it smells literally like fall and like Christmas. It has cinnamon and mild orange and um, rosemary. It's just a really great smell. And uh, most of you have probably heard of On Guard. If you've heard of no other oil or oil blend, it's one of the, it is actually the most popular blend that doTERRA has for good reason. Um, it's amazing at <clears throat> really boosting your immune system because it has some oils in there that are very, very high in antioxidant capacity. And so On Guard is really going to help your body to fight off <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I've got something in my throat. <clears> throat> it's going to help your body stay strong and be able to fight off whatever it might come in contact with. And honestly, you know, we just have so many, so many things going on right now. And we're just a little bit on heightened alert of different things that could, could infect our body. But the thing is, we really should think about how we can help our immune system function better and how we can help our body be more in a balanced state so that it can fight off the things that it comes in contact with. Because 
our body, you know, it needs to come in contact with various things from the outside, the earth and bacteria. That's how our immune system is built. So that's very important. And when we like think about over sanitization and over, um, you know, really, really trying to limit our exposure, sure, we should be smart about those things, but we should actually be exposed to those things in smaller amounts so that our body can mount a defense in a, in a smaller way. And so then it's going to be stronger when you do come in contact with those things again. So I just think, I just love how essential oils really help your body to do what it's already trying to do. And it helps it just to be stronger in that way. So on guard, actually, I'm going to go back to and talk about peppermint because I didn't talk about it um, as much as I wanted to. Really quickly, peppermint is really good at waking you up. It's very energizing. It's very cooling to your body. So if you have an elevated body temperature, um, I love to use uh, peppermint up and down the spine on the bottoms of the feet. I've used that several, several times on myself and my kids, and it works really, really well. It also relieves head tension, really great for that. So you can put it right here on your temples, um, up on the hairline right here, and then on the back of your neck, and it's really great to help decrease that tension. Um, it just really creates um, a clear thinking, clear mind. It just helps to oxygenate your cells and kind of wake you up too. So I love peppermint for all of those things. And then really quickly back to On Guard. So On Guard, like I said, it's a protective blend and we can use it to increase our immune system and kind of boost that. So you can use it every single day if you want to. You can, we're going to talk about the three ways to use essential oils in just a minute, but you can use this one topically. Um, you can use it aromatically. You can put it in a diffuser and help kill germs in the air, or you can use it internally. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. So let's talk about how essential oils can be actually be more affordable than traditional medical care. So I want you to think about your uh, copay, going to visit the doctor, going to visit the pharmacist and getting that medication filled, whatever you might get at the doctor's office. Like, let's just say your child has an ear infection. You're going to have to possibly take off work. You're going to have to go sit in the doctor's office, um, go see the doctor. You're going to have to go to the pharmacy, more than likely. Um, and all of those things add up in time and money, just, you know, whatever your copay is, I want you to have that in your back of your mind. So if you had essential oils to use, you could actually be more preventative in this. And whenever something started to come on, maybe your child was pulling in its ear, you could be really preventative and start putting melaleuca and lavender, a couple drops, and some carrier oil right on the bone behind your ear. And also around the rim of your ear. And you can do that a couple of times a day. And what I've seen is that it actually helps the body to um, get rid of whatever's going on. It helps support the body in that way. And so um, that actually costs pennies maybe a dollar to uh, all of those combined or maybe a dollar to use and so um, you could save hundreds of dollars in medical costs a year and I think this is a really good point to make and really uh, I want you to think about this because oftentimes people think you know more natural things are just an added cost or just more expensive like they're just an expense that they can't have right now but I, I want you to think about it in a different way. What if you could replace things with essential oils or with natural products? Um, what if you could maybe not have to go to the doctor as much? Maybe you could be more preventative at home. Just think about how much money that would save you rather than thinking about this is always just an added expense because that's just not the case. And I think it's just a, a really a way we can look at things in a different light. Okay, so let's talk about calming, and let's talk about lavender. So lavender, I mentioned, it is good for calming. It's good for pain, actually, and that's why I would put it with that melaleuca and put it around the ear. It would really help with the pain, and then the melaleuca would help with the drainage, and it would also help with um, if there was an infection starting to form in that ear. It would really help the, the body to get rid of that. And so lavender by itself. Lavender is just super calming. It's calming to the mind. It's calming to the skin. Um, it's a natural antihistamine. Um, so that's one of the main ways that I really like to use it is for itchiness. So if you have like a rash, a burn, it's really good for those. It's good for bug bites. We use it all the time. So, I mean, bug bites are like, if they're itching, it's just like the end of the world. But if you put some lavender on that, wait a few seconds, it's literally like liquid gold to moms. I mean, this is one oil that I had to pick two oils, just two. I would definitely pick On Guard and I would definitely pick lavender. 
So those two oils alone will, will be do, do you great and good if you're a mom. So lavender also, like I said, is antihistamine. So a lot of people love to use it for allergies. So you can use this one topically if you want. I really like to use it internally. I feel like it works a lot better that way. And remember when we talked about CPTG, just making sure you have that purity. I would not recommend using any other brand internally. Most brands are not recommended to be used internally, but most other brands are not going to be pure. So lavender though, internally, they're is completely safe to use and I usually like to put one drop along with lavender and I'm sorry lavender lemon and peppermint that is the combination for allergies and I cannot tell you how many people have just raved over this blend um, and so lavender is amazing for allergies a lot of people are actually complaining about allergies right now so if you are you might want to try that combination if you have it if not we're going to talk about it in a minute how you can get these into your home so let's kind of switch gears and talk about the three different ways to use essential oils. Now, again, if you have any questions and you're watching um, along, you can definitely comment below and I'll answer those as we go. But the first way that you can use these is aromatically. And you can um, diffuse. The diffuser is a great way to get them in the air. It's a really easy and effective way and just simple to, to pop the top, put some oils in the diffuser, put some water in there and turn it on. And it lasts for, you know, up to eight hours. It's just something that you can do to really help clean the air. You can help affect your mood that way. Something really cool is if you put your um, finger in your thumb right here, there's actually a nerve right there that's called the olfactory nerve. And what this nerve does, I want you to think about like, okay, when somebody gets put to sleep, maybe you've been put to sleep before. I want you to think about what they do to put you to sleep. They don't give you an injection normally. They don't give you a pill. What do they do? They tell you to put this thing, they put this thing over your mouth and nose, and they tell you to count backwards from 10 or whatever and, and take some deep breaths. And you're like out by six, I don't know. You're out pretty quickly. And this is the way that essential oils can work too. That olfactory nerve actually sends signals to the limbic system, and that controls so many systems in your body to turn on, to turn off, whatever it might be. And so essential oils, it's actually the fastest way to get the benefits of them because they affect you so quickly through that system. And so this is much more than like, they smell good? Yes, they do smell good and you can replace candles, which is a great thing to do, but they can affect your mood really, really powerfully. They can also cleanse the air. So I mentioned on guard and diffuser is a really great way to clean the air and just um, purify the germs. Um, if you have like smells in the air, um, you can just purify it. It's a great blend to um, clean the air. You can also support your respiratory system with aromatic use. And one way, I, I mean, I love to do it in the diffuser. I actually have a diffuser right there behind me. Many people um, are very familiar with diffusers these days. But another way that you can use them aromatically is just simply to put some in your hand. Now, I'm going to do this with adaptive because I have it right here. And I just love adaptive. It's the stress blend. Um, I'm going to put one drop in my hand, rub it together. And you can just kind of make your own diffuser. You cup over your nose and mouth and inhale really deeply. You can do that for several seconds and just really take some deep breaths. And it's like your mood just changes instantly because those wells get to work through that system that I mentioned. And just the, just the act of deeper breathing can help relax you as well. So the combination of those two is amazing. So that's how you can use these aromatically and really create a different change in your mood super quick. Okay, so second way to use these is topically. So this is a great way to think about using them for an infected, like an affected area. If you have like a localized area that you really want to help, like say it be, um, you have a knee that's kind of um, giving you trouble, you have your stomach kind of hurts, your head hurts. These are things that are kind of like localized targeted areas and that's a really great reason why you might want to use topical, um, use essential oils topically. So let's talk about um, diluting really quick because, you know, we talked about how powerful essential oils were. They're about 50 to 70 times stronger than herbs. You know, one drop is really powerful. So you might be thinking like, I want to know how to use these safely. And I definitely want you to use these safely. So if you're just getting started or you have really sensitive skin or whatever it might be, you want to start out diluting because you want to just see how your body reacts to them and just kind of get your body used to them because it is something new. And so using a carrier oil, that's what we call it when we dilute it with a carrier oil. These are things like coconut oil, almond oil, jojoba oil. There's lots of different ones. 
You can also use like things like olive oil. Olive oil is just a little bit heavier and it doesn't go on your skin very well as far as get um, absorbed. So I like to use coconut oil, but you can use any oil like that that you want. So you would put a little bit of that in your palm. You would put a drop of essential oil. You could rub that together and then put it wherever it hurts. Another way that you can use them topically is just to use them in a roller bottle. Um, now this is just really convenient. You can carry these with you. It's just like a, you don't have to touch them. It's just, it's just really um, very easy to use um, essential oils in a roller bottle. So you would put the essential oils in here for maybe like 30 drops in a 10 mil roller, and then you would fill it up the rest of the way with coconut oil, and that way you could just put this wherever you needed it. Say your stomach hurt or your head hurt, you could put it just like that. So this is something that um, especially moms really, really like to use um, because it's just super easy um, to put on kids. You know, you're gonna wanna dilute most of the time on kids. And so that's how you use them topically. Again, just in review, you want to dilute. Um, you can just put it and simply put it in your hand. You can put it in a roller bottle. You just rub it on the area. And then two different ways that I kind of like to think about using them topically. One would be um, for localized benefits, but the other one is just you kind of want to boost your immune system. You know, that's kind of like whole body, right? So you can just put them on the bottom of your feet. That's a really easy and convenient place to put them, especially on kids. You want to cover with socks most of the time after you do that so that you don't track it on your floor. But your feet have really large pores and there's lots of pores on your feet and so they get absorbed really quickly that way. So that's a really great area of like the body that you don't know where to put them. You can just always put them on your feet and it's super easy. And another place is like up and down your spine. I like to do that on my kids because it's easy if they already have on their socks and shoes. I just look up the back of their shirt, rub it on their spine, and they're out the door. So that's a little bit about topical use. And lastly, we have internal use. And this is something that I find the more and more that I help people with essential oils, they just, they're not sure about using them internally. They don't know how to use them internally. Um, and maybe they're just kind of scared to use them internally, to be honest. And those are all you know, there's nothing wrong with, with feeling that way at all. And you certainly don't have to use them internally, but I do feel like if you, if you kind of, um, don't, uh, look, look at this way of using or you kind of disregard this way, you're missing out on a lot of benefits. So let's talk a little bit about how you can use essential oils internally. So there's a few different ways. First of all, you can use them in your water. So uh, if you see me, you're probably going to see me with some water bottle. This is my bottle, <laughs> bottle of choice right now. But I love to put essential oils in my water. It makes them taste great. It gives me internal benefits of cleansing, and it gives me energy. They taste really good, like I said. So it helps you really drink more water is what I've heard from other people, and I can definitely say that as well. So you want to make sure, though, that you drink them out of glass or stainless steel. And, um, you know, this is uh, 32 ounces. So I'm going to put maybe two, maybe three drops in here but if you have an eight ounce glass like you're only going to need one drop and I believe that's what it says on the supplement facts box and so if you ever want to know if you can use an essential oil material essential oil internally you just want to turn over the bottle and look to see if you can see the supplement facts and so it just looks like something you might see on the side of the cereal box and it's going to say um, dilute one drop in four ounces of liquid so it's going to give you directions on there and that's how you're going to know if you can use that oil internally. So you can definitely put them in your water. Citrus oils are great, like lime or lemon or raw orange, um, tangerine, things like that. Um, and so that's one way. The second way is to put them in a veggie capsule. And that's just an empty gel capsule that you pop the cap off of, you put the oils inside, and then you pop the cap back on, and you kind of made yourself a little natural remedy peel. And so you can take that like you normally would, and you don't taste them. That's kind of the great thing about putting them in a veggie capsule. You can put different oils in there as well if you're taking like a blend of oils. Um, it's just a really convenient way to take those. So you can take, take them in a veggie capsule. And then the third way is just simply under your tongue. Now, a lot of people get really confused by this, so I'm just going to show you how you put them under your tongue. Here I have Copaiba, and we're going to talk about this one in just a minute, a little bit more. But I love to use this one under my tongue. I use it under my tongue probably two or three times a day, just depends, because it's really, really good. It's good for overall health, honestly, but I use it because it helps calm me. <laughs> so if I'm just feeling a little stressed or just need a little bit of mental clarity, I love to use Copaiba, and I usually use it under my tongue. So what I do is I take the top off, and I just rest it right here on my teeth, and I just lean the bottle back until I can feel one drop drop out, and then just take it out. And some oils come out faster than others. 
and you are going to taste the oil. Like I can taste it right now. It's not a very strong taste. And so some oils are going to be stronger than others. And some oils you won't want to do this way because they're going to be like hot. Something like oregano or cinnamon or clove or on guard. Of course not. <laughs> I don't even want to yeah, a little bit out. But that is another way that you can take them. So that's three different ways that you can take them internally. And I want you to think about, you know, each way is a little bit of a step up. So if you go from aromatic to topical, you're going to get a little bit more of the benefits. You know, they're going to be a little bit stronger. And if you go to topical and to internal, it's going to be a little bit stronger that way. So internal is the strongest way. I say that in a way like you're going to get the most amount of oil in your body if you use it internally. But, you know, the recommended amount of, of oils as far as in a 24-hour period is about 24 drops. So, you know, you're going to be well under that most of the time. You're not going to, if you, you know, you, you wouldn't, if you see that by a little bit, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But as a whole, that's a good rule of thumb to go by. And most of the time, you're going to be well under that. And your body runs through these very, very quickly. So that's another reason why you want to use them a, a little bit more often during the day. So if you want to use like on guard to support your immune system, let's say you're around somebody that doesn't feel well or someone in your house doesn't feel well, you're going to want to use it a little bit throughout the day. So maybe you put a little bit on your feet now, maybe in two hours, maybe in the end. And you know, you want to think about them using them like that versus using something like every four to six hours. Like we would think of using an OTC medication. It's a little bit of a different way to think about it because your body runs through it pretty quickly. So you're going to want to use a little bit more often throughout the day. And I feel like that is probably the number one thing people do not do is they just think, oh, I'm going to apply it one time and I'm good. And I guess it's better than not applying it. But if you're really feeling under the weather, your body needs more support than that. And they're like, oh, essential oils didn't work for me. I actually got sick and stayed sick. Well, I'm just feeling, you know, <laughs> you probably didn't use it enough. But, you know, whatever. Just, just telling you, just giving you a little bit of um, – of experience for me because I've definitely been in that boat as well, but you have to give them a fair shot. Okay, so let's dive into talking about a few specific oils and different ways that you can use them. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm always here to answer whatever you got going on. So first we're gonna talk about frankincense. And frankincense is, they call it the king of oils. Frankincense is something that has been prized, has been a prized possession for just centuries. I mean, they talk about it in biblical times, and I love that we can use frankincense now, just like they did when Jesus was born. That, that's one of the gifts that they gave him. And so I just think that's amazing. Frankincense is really such a gift. It has so many benefits that there's just, there's, there's way more that I can cover right here in a few seconds. But in general, it's really great for calming. Um, this is one oil that actually passes the blood-brain barrier. So that's really important when you think about accessing use your mental state and your mental health. Really, really important when you think about frankincense that it can do that. That's very unique. Most drugs cannot pass the blood-brain barrier, and most oils cannot pass the blood-brain barrier. It's only a, um, a handful that can. So that's really unique about frankincense. It's also really good for anti-aging. Again, your mental, it kind of keeps your mental acuity there. And it also is great for skin. So if you have like fine lines, wrinkles, if you just want to kind of be preventative in that, really easy thing you can do. Like the easiest thing is to just take whatever moisturizer you use, put a little bit in your palm, and just put one drop of frankincense and then rub it, rub it in like you normally would. <laughs> I did not realize it was 8.30 and I'm just, I'm just talking, talking. <laughs> so it might go a little bit after. But frankincense is really good for all those things. Um, it's also good for scars. Um, so many different things that frankincense is great for, but we've got to move on. So next is digestin. Digestin is the digestive blend. This is definitely the blend that sold my husband, um, you know, and, and really myself included. Um, if you have digestive issues, if you rub some digestin on, like you're going to be feeling better. It's amazing. It's an amazing blend. Um, you think about any kind of digestive issue, it's really great for. So what you would want to do would just be to simply rub it on um, the affected area, which normally would be your stomach. And so you want to just rub it in there, give it a few seconds, and you're going to start to feel whatever it is relief. So digestion works very fast, honestly. Um, let's see. Okay, next is breathe. Breathe is the um, respiratory blend. And breathe is something that really, really helps open up your lungs. So it's going to help your lungs, help your sinuses. It's like cough and congestion. It kind of smells like big salve a little bit. It's kind of like a natural version of that. And so you're just going to want to rub it right here on your chest. 
And you're only going to want to use this one in topically or aromatically. So I love to use this one in the diffuser. It smells really good. And I also love to put it on topically on the chest. And you can also breathe it in if you wanted to kind of put a drop right here in your palms and just breathe it in. That's a really great way to use it as well. This one is great for kids that might wake up stuffy or, you know, if they just have like congestion that gets kind of worse at night, put this in the diffuser in the room and it's amazing. Okay, so wild orange um, is a citrus oil, obviously, and I love to put this one in my water. It's super uplifting. It's actually been great, greatly studied in things like anxiety and depression and really helping our body kind of cope with that. Again, it works through that olfactory system, and it really helps to um, uplift your mood. It's just kind of like sunshine in a bottle. I love wild orange. I love to put my water, diffuse it. You can also put it on topically as well. So wild orange is one of my faves. But probably my ultimate favorite is adaptive. Um, so I'm gonna put it in my hands and just kind of breathe it in really, um, just a minute ago really well. Um, adaptive is absolutely amazing. It's called the calming blend, but I really call it the stress blend because, wow, um, this is one of the newer blends, but it definitely, it, it's, it has my heart. <laughs> it's like my favorite. Um, it helps to calm you. Um, so it's really great at calming. And then in turn, it really helps for you to help you focus. And I love to put this one in the diffuser, and I also love to put it on topically. They actually make a supplement form of this um, that's essential oils and herbs that are is amazing as well for calming and just helps with that stress and overwhelm feeling. And so I love to use adaptive like the entire line, like give it all to me. I need it. <laughs> so adaptive is it's definitely one of my favorites. Copaiba. I just spoke about that one. I really love to use it right under my tongue. Um, you can use this one all three ways. So you can use it internally, topically, aromatically. Um, it's really great for like overall health benefits because it actually um, taps into the endocannabinoid system. So, it, you know, people kind of talk about it in relation to CBD. It is not the same as CBD. It doesn't come from the same place. It actually comes from a tree. And, uh, but it, it kind of acts on the same parts of the brain, um, but it doesn't, you know, do it in the same way. So it's kind of that same effect, I guess you would say, but it's really great. It calms the entire nervous system. So I really like to use that one internally. I feel like I get the most benefit from it that way, but you could totally put it in a veggie capsule if you wanted. Citrus Bliss um, is another one that's amazing. It's very similar to Wild Orange, but it has a lot of the different um, citrus oils in there. And it's just super uplifting and cheerful. I love to put that one in the diffuser. And so um, that's a little bit about a few of the oils. I couldn't go over every single one of them, but again, if you have a specific health issue, I will try to help you with what might be good for you um, with that. If you, if you want specific oil recommendations, I can definitely try to help. But I want you to think like, what are the three top health concerns that you have? And I just want you to think about what would your life be if you didn't have those health concerns? And just think about that for a minute. You know, if you want to write them down, if that would help. Just take a mental note, though, because we're going to have to keep going here. But I want you to think about that. Um, because that's just something that a lot of times we just feel like we're stuck with. But there are things that we can use even naturally that we can just, we can feel completely different. Our life is actually just so much more enriched because we don't have those symptoms and don't feel way down all the time. So I want to talk really quickly about actually something that was my favorite product and, and really kind of still is adaptive kind of stole the show on that a little bit, but this is super foundational. So you can't really, you can't really, um, it's kind of like not comparing oranges to oranges. So, um, lifelong vitality is something that if you've known me for any length of time, you've probably heard me talk about. It is the, um, the pack of three different supplements that doTERRA has that are super foundational to help. So um, the Microflex DMC is like a multivitamin, but the way that these are powdered and made, your body can use them up really quickly. And this is definitely way different than if you were to go buy supplements at the drugstore or a health food store. If I can tell you anything tonight is really think about the quality of products that you bring into your home, whether it's supplements, whether it's essential oils, honestly, whether it's food, you really want to think about that because if you're hearing Carrie talk about lemon and wild orange and, you know, whatever it might be, all these different things, and then you see those at Walmart, they're not the same. Like they are literally not the same. 
So I just want to make that disclaimer and don't waste your money because I really don't want you to waste your money. So this pad, it's really important that you get vitamins that are actually going to do something in your body. And this pad definitely will do that. So they have a multivitamin, they have an omega complex, which is so, so key for especially women. Our hormones are built off fats. And if we don't have those, then where our hormones are going to be off. So that's really important. Also heart health and brain health. And then they have something in this pack called Alpha CRS. And this has a ton of different antioxidants. It's very um, anti-inflammatory. It gives you energy. Like this is a very unique um, cellular vitality complex. And so the other two you might have heard of, but definitely not Alpha CRS. So those pair come in a pack together. It's called the Lifelong Vitality Pack. And I just wanted to mention that because honestly, that is, it's a number one selling product because people realize how important it is to support your body in that foundational way and they never get off this. It's just that amazing. There's actually a 30 day money back guarantee as well. So let's talk quickly about the three different ways that you can purchase essential oils. <clears throat> you can purchase them retail, which obviously is the most expensive and most of the time you're only going to see those like a professional setting. Um, we don't, the chair does not sell theirs like in big box stores because you need guidance in this. And if you get a bottle of frankincense, you want to know how to use it. If you invest in that, you want to know how to use it. And so you need somebody to help guide you in that. And so that's why they don't sell in retail that often. So wholesale is you get the products at the best price. This is kind of like having a Costco or a Sam's Club membership. You pay the $35 fee, which is like a year long fee. And then whatever you get is 25% off retail, which is the wholesale price. And it's literally, like I said, just like having a Sam's Club membership. Anytime you want to purchase, they're 25% off. Very, very easy. Same discount I get. Um, just a really inexpensive way, honestly, to get all the benefits of um, your membership for $35 a year. And then there's actually uh, purchasing below wholesale. And this is a great way that you can earn free product back. This is the way that I purchase and that most, honestly, most of the people in doTERRA um, that have a membership purchase because you get free products and you get points back and you can actually purchase below wholesale. Okay, so what can you expect from me <clears throat> or anybody that you were to enroll in with? I know that there was a couple of, um, we, we kind of do this class together as a team um, uh, to educate people. And so whoever invited you to this class, this is what you can expect from them. If that's me, this is what you can expect from me. So you're going to get a welcome packet. You're going to get a personal consultation with whoever um, enrolls you and helps you get started. You're going to get access to our amazing education group. And this is like game changer. I mean, if you have a question, you can go in there and type it in if you want to learn from what everybody else asks. We always post information in there. It's just a great place to be, honestly, to learn more and to really be able to use what you have and to um, learn about other things that you might not have even known that oils could be used for. It's amazing. We have giveaways in there. There's great community, and you're going to have ongoing support. I mean, I just think about, like, other products that I purchase that when I get them home, maybe I have a question about them, but, I mean, I, I purchased them from, like, Target. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it's just that ongoing support that people don't realize that you really need, especially with a product like this. So you're going to get that with a membership. <clears throat> so let's talk about the three, not the three, a couple of different ways that you can get started. I mentioned that um, the $35 fee is a year long fee. And so you can just simply pay the $35 and get whatever oils you want. Most people end up getting started with a starter bundle or a kit, and that's because the, the uh, enrollment fee is waived, so it's $35 is no longer there, and you're going to get the products for cheaper. <coughs> and I got something stuck in my throat. <coughs> I love that. So the first, I know you can't, if you're on Instagram, I know you cannot see this, but the Healthy Start Kit is the top 10 oils plus a cute, lovely little diffuser. I have this diffuser several places in my home. It's the Brevi diffuser, if you've ever heard of that one. I love it. I think it runs, yeah, it runs for 10 hours, so it's a really great one for putting in your bedroom. But um, that is a really great kit to start with, a bundle to start with. <coughs> there we go. Healthy Habits Kit. I really like this kit because it gives you um, some of the supplements added in there. So you can get Lifelong Vitality. You're going to get the PB Assist, Hair Zone, different things like that. This is a really great one to start with. Healthy Essentials. This is probably my favorite kit because you have the larger bottles and you're going to get a diffuser with it as well. Healthy Home Kit. A little bit bigger, a little bit more things for your home. Obviously, the, the name depicts that. And it's, it's going to be a great way that you can replace things in your home. <coughs> 
Um, Natural Solutions Kit is basically everything you need for a lifestyle shift. You've got the vitamins, you've got the hand wash, you've got the mouthwash, you've got the shampoo and conditioner, all kind of stuff. This, this is actually definitely the best value. And you, you can fill a cute little box to keep all your oils in. Pretty awesome. So that is a few different ways that you can get started. <coughs> and this month in October, at the time of this recording, you can get uh, four different products for free just by ordering a 200 PV order. And whoever helps you get started will definitely help you to know what that means, the PV. But you're going to get peppermint for free, digesting soft gels, tamer, which is a digestive blend you put on your stomach, and then calmer, which is a restful blend that you can use during the day or you can use at night. And the tamer and calmer are actually part of the kids' lines, but as an adult, I love to use those as well. <coughs> So you're going to get those absolutely free this month. Okay, forgot to take that off. Okay, so there's two, um, there's actually three different wellness um, kits right now available. These are actually something that you can take advantage of after you get started. I'm not going to go into this right now for sake of time, but that's something that is amazing um, that's really going to help you to be able to focus on various things in your health, and it's kind of like a no-brainer. They just they send you the products that are going to be great for you. <clears throat> so, I want to encourage you to text whoever invited you to this class. If that was me, definitely send me a message, get in touch with me, and I will be happy to help you get started. Um, there's, it's, always, it's always a good time to include these into your home and to really, really look at how can we live a more natural lifestyle and how can we support our body in that way. There's just, there's never been a better time. I just think about if I didn't have these during this time, I just can't imagine, you know, the stress. I can't imagine the, the anxiety that I would feel thinking that I had nothing to use preventatively. Um, I just, uh, I feel like these are such a, a gift. And so uh, I know that there are people that invited you to this class that are excited to help you get started with whatever is going to work best for you. So make sure you reach out to them. And <clears throat> if you want to host your own class, we actually have goodies for that as well. So if that's something that you would like to do, whoever invited you to this class, we'd be happy to teach your class for you and we're gonna send you um, some free things. One of those um, on here is actually a little pouch that you can keep your oils in. It's really, really handy to take with you. So we can totally do this online as well. So please reach out to us if that's something that would be of interest to you. And so now I just want to really quickly cover a few of the different aspects of sharing doTERRA with other people. And so if you want to hop off, you totally can, but I really hope you will stay just maybe for another five um, minutes or so, and I'm gonna go over this really quickly right now. So there's actually three types of people that are attracted to doTERRA. The first, they just wanna live this lifestyle, um, the wellness lifestyle. <clears throat> there's a second type of person that really can see, okay, they're thinking of their um, their friend or their cousin or their sister or whoever that can really benefit from this information. They really want to share, and this is a great way that you can get your products paid for. Third person really is looking at me or, you know, or somebody else teaching a class, and they really, they're like, I want to do that. That looks awesome. I love these products. I want to share with other people that way. And so this is actually how you can build your own business and earn an impact, earn an income and make impact in the world. And I'm so thankful that I get to do that. Um, every single day I get to show up and do that because I just, I love, especially during this time, um, at the time of this recording, uh, we're, just, we're in 2020 and things have changed dramatically for a lot of people. And the fact that I can continue to work at home and help people in this way has been an unbelievable blessing. And so I would love to help you with that. I know um, anybody else that invited you to this class would as well. Okay, should have taken that slide out on there. Okay, so why why Tara and why now? So we're the largest essential oil company in the world. We're the most tested and the most trusted. Um, used by doctors and um, hospitals around the world, they will only use this brand because of the standards that we have. Um, they're ethically and sustainably sourced, which is something that's very, very important. Um, we give back. We work directly with farmers. Um, it's just something that is very, very important to Doterra, and they're not going to compromise on that, which I just I absolutely love. The retention rate Doterra is very, very high for this market. Um, it's 65% of customers continue to order month after month. So we have customer loyalty, which a lot of other companies don't have that. 
And it's because the products speak for themselves. Honestly, there's not much selling that you have to do. Um, they really speak for themselves. And so we love to help people experience that through samples. And um, that's just something that's really unique about doTERRA. They are a privately owned company with no outside funding. So they're not having to really um, satisfy other people. They really can stick to their values and um, really uh, that's, that's so key in, in today's world, especially. Okay, so questions you may have. How much money could I make? Um, how much time is involved? Could this work for me? And what are the next steps? So the ways that you can earn an income with doTERRA, you can sample, teach other people, you can enroll other people with a membership to help get them get the products that they need and then you support them. It's that simple. So the income potential, I know you can't see this slide if you're on Instagram, but the people that are on Zoom, you can see that the income potential is really unlimited. Um, it just depends on what you want to do with this opportunity. Anywhere from an extra $500 a month to an extra couple thousand a month to 10,000, I mean, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable. And so how much time is involved with this? That's another question that I know you're wanting to know. So if you want to get your oils paid for, maybe something like three to five hours a week. If you want to help supplement your income, maybe you're looking at five to 15 hours a week. And if you want to replace your income, you're more than likely looking at something like 15 to 30 hours a week. It just depends. I know when I started out, it was probably around the five to 10 hour a week. I mean, basically I just wanted to do it all the time. I was just so interested. And so I, I, a lot of times I don't keep track of how many hours I work just because I just love it. And so it doesn't really feel like work, but those are good estimates if you want to, to kind of reach for those different goals. Could this work for you? Are you passionate about oils? That's like, you have to be, right? And so if you're watching this right now and you're like, well, I don't have oils. Well, that's kind of the first step. <laughs> you have to get these and you have to use them and you have to experience it for yourself. There's no other way. Do you love people? Do you love to help people? Um, I would say that would probably be a really, a really good prerequisite as well. Um, I just, I loved seeing other people's lives change and this was a great vehicle for that. And it kind of just fell in my lap. It's just really happened organically. And can you follow a system to get things done? Because there are systems that are great to follow that really help you get started. And it can make it, it doesn't have to be overwhelming. If this seems overwhelming, there are certain steps you can follow that are going to make it really easy. So that's kind of a little bit of an overview about could this work for you? So what's the next step? Do you have a wholesale account? If you don't, you're going to, you're going to get one of those. And if you have a wholesale account and you're not a wellness advocate yet, you can simply upgrade. Does it cost any more money? And you just do that in your, um, in your account, online account, and, and you're ready to go. You want to set up a 100 PPLRP order as well, because that's what's going to help you to earn commissions. And you're going to reach out for help. There's like unlimited amount of resources. And so whoever enrolled you is going to help you get started and plug you into the right resources because you, there, there, there are a lot. So you want to make sure you get plugged into the right ones. And so you're going to just start making the list and helping people to experience the oils by giving the samples. And the most important part of this is just to have fun. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. It doesn't have to be something that is just a, a burden, you know. It just is fun. It's fun to help people experience health in this way and to really um, do something that you're passionate about and that's really making a difference. So I want to leave you this. The only thing keeping you from what you want is your story about why you don't have it. So basically, it's our mindset. Do we want to do this or do we not want to do this? And um, that's still, honestly, for, you know, for so many is the biggest key. And, um, and so thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and you learned about oils and you learned about maybe what it could look like to share oils. If you stay on for this long, I really want to thank you. If you have not gotten started with oils, please reach out to whoever invited you to this class if that was me. You can get, get in touch with me however you know how. <laughs> My website, carriepeeka.com, is a great place if you, for, if you, for nothing else. You can definitely go there and um, get in contact with me and learn more. All right, guys, thanks so much for sticking with me. I know I went a little bit over, but it was just so many good things to, to me not to share. All right, guys, thanks for joining, and I will see you all later. Good night. Bye.